everyone. Today I'm going to be doing some more gesture drawing, uh, trying just to capture the overall look and feel of these ladies um, in more of an old school style. I'm using Pinterest. I search up, you know, vintage images or vintage magazine um, illustrations to see what I can find. This is the first one I'm doing. I am not trying to be perfect. I'm not trying to draw everything exactly as it is. I'm just trying to capture the overall look of what I'm seeing. And it's just practice for me. I have to keep going. No matter how difficult it gets, which this is difficult. Trying to like map out her arms and her other arm is like folded over. And I just keep going over it until I feel happy with what I have. I am not by any means trying to be um, perfect and um, I'm just really just trying to draw what I see in my own style the way that I like regardless of what you know people think art is or what it's supposed to look like so her hands are I know these arms are not long enough and I never do the arms long enough so I keep going till I figure it out but definitely, that's fine. It's not long enough, but that's okay. It'll do for now. And this whole top that she's got on is black. come down and they're sort of crossed there and this dress sort of just has all these like frills on it and I love the colors of this piece of art that I will um, share the link with you on that one and so then I have another one here I'm going to, I want to try some different things that I haven't done before so this is going to be a tough one. This one, the lady's a little bit wild here. Uh, I don't know. Who, I, I love this one. This artwork is beautiful. I'm not sure I can even remotely. Like I've got her ear wrong already. I love the way this artist did this. This artist like didn't even draw half of it in. She left a lot of it sort of blank and then she has all this sort of crazy hair here that this model has. I'm gonna give her some extra eyelashes. But I love this. Whatever it was the artist was doing was different for sure. And this, she has a really sort of long neck. Excessively long neck. And uh, then she has this crazy coat on that I love. Okay. And none of my images, I'm not trying to make these ones the same. I'm just, um, I'm just trying to capture what I'm seeing. This lady has a, like a, like a little mini dress on, but she's got this coat that goes over it, these wide, sleeves and then it comes down and it's got there we go um I am not trying to draw exactly what I see I'm just trying to capture the lines of it I'm not trying to make everything exactly the same let's see if I could draw some people have asked for a vintage uh picture drawing of a male uh and I'm not sure 
if I can do that. Let's see if I can draw this guy. I'm not sure. Okay. Stronger, like more maybe angular lines than the women, right? Maybe less round. This guy has a hat on too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my best. He's got like this white shirt on. He's looking to the side. And then he has this fancy coat on. His shoulders are quite a ways over here. And, he, and then it goes like this. And his arm goes in the pocket there, not showing the hands. And then his jacket goes down like this. And I guess back in the vintage days, they had sort of buttons that way. And he has a tie on. And now for the features. So I see the thicker sort of messy eyebrows that this guy has. And then he has um, just straight sort of for the eyes, just sort of straight. I feel like his eyes should actually be closer together. They even gave him kind of like these bags under his eyes. I don't know, this guy's tired. His nose is more, tri like, I don't know, bigger, I guess. There's a line for his mouth and I don't want to make it too feminine. I'm just going to leave it sort of like that. And then they all they do is highlight underneath the lip. They don't give it too much. Now his jaw should be bigger than what I've done. Not bad for giving this a, a try. Obviously, I think I'm going to try to draw more men because that was, I think I could definitely do better there. This was kind of interesting. I'm going to color them in now. People were more fancy in those days than they are now. So he has that fancy um, shoulder. She has a black shirt on as well. When I'm drawing my figures, I like to sort of try to bring it together a little bit so that there's some elements that bring all three of my folks together. And in this case, it's going to be the red. And sometimes when you do a whole bunch of figures together, if you make a mistake, it doesn't look as, I don't know, bad simply because you've got a whole bunch together and it just makes it a little more fun to look at. This is the final sketch from my figure sketching session, trying to practice drawing faces and figures of men and women. 
Uh, I'm going to include the names in the description of the illustrations that I tried to use as a reference for this drawing session. And you can find that in the description of this video. I just wanna take a moment to go over the materials I used in this sketching session. I start my sketches usually with a Sharpie marker. Uh, this is just a plain um, black Sharpie marker. This is what it looks like, and I usually just begin my drawings with that. And when I start shading my images in, I use these um, Artist's Loft alcohol markers. I like them. They have the brush point here, and they also have a flat point here. Once I'm done with that part of it, I usually get out the Artex markers. These are acrylic markers that you can find anywhere. I love the way that the paint comes out. And I just like how bright and cheery these colors are, so I use them on top if I need to. We'll usually get out my Signo gel pen. It's a Uniball Signo gel pen. And I usually have black, but I ran out of ink and I haven't gotten any new ones. And if I don't have the colors that I'm looking for in these Artist Loft, then I use the Tombow markers. And I know I'll be doing more with these Tombow markers in the future because they're water-based, which means I can add them on like watercolor paper and then add water to it and play around with it. So I'm looking forward to that, but right now I'm into the sketching. And the sketchbook I am using is a Hillroy Studio Pro sketchbook. It is, uh, well, it's in centimeters. It's 35.5 centimeters by 27.9 centimeters. I went to buy some of these the other day and, uh, they were on clearance, so I just kind of wonder if they're not going to be selling them in this size anymore. Um, therefore, I picked up three, and just because I just love the size of this, and it really helps me drawing numerous figures at once. And that's what I used to draw. I hope you guys enjoyed this drawing session. Please leave a comment below, and thank you so much for following along, and happy sketching.